All right, working on a grow house today. Pretty cool. So the she. No bueno. You see all the all the shavings. Got to get all that vacuumed out. There's a lot of it. I don't want that to be blown back to the system. I'm gonna have to dust all this off. So got my new sheave down there. We're gonna get this switched out, and uh, we're gonna be good to go. So let me get get humping on this real quick. First thing you want to do is take out your set screw. I like these long handles. Yeah, it's so pretty nice. I like to take it all the way out and then turn it in a couple times. So, it's that it's a, they're a Melco, I think. I got the whole set of these. These are really nice. So, it's got some length to it. These units have humidimizers for a grow house. Four of them. So, it's made so it has three. If one goes down, three are good to go. Can operate the, the space in there with the heat load. There's 400 and something lights in there, 1,000 watts. All right, now that should shut. That should slide right off. Because it's got the new. Oh, I'm going to have to pull the motor. Look at that. You got no room to work. It's all the way back. That's stupid. It's not going to pull the motor out. Right, let me go get my sockets so I can pull this motor real quick. You draw with a marker where, where your motor will lined up. I got to take the motor out. So make sure you mark it. And this way you know exactly where to set it. There's no questions. Alright. Let me get this bad boy. I got my socket right here. grab my extension so this motor weighs like a billion pounds and I'm like little so what I did was is I put my foot here I wedged myself underneath here and I grabbed it like this so I can maneuver it so I can get that sheave on I always make sure to clean this a little bit I just don't like what it did to the to the motor like shit all over it. I don't want that on there. I don't want no goopy stuff. Make sure it's nice and clean. Make sure we pull that out. I still gotta come through with my vacuum and get everything, but this will be a start at least. Um, so I just took the bolts out. It's four bolts. Loosen this nut, take the nut off, you can screw these back. So there's my marks, so you can tell where my motor goes. Um, let me get this sheath. What's going on here? is you want to check your belt. You want to make sure your belt's towards the top. Okay? See how low that is? So we're going to give this a few turns in. Once we get the set screw out, silly. So I'll take this one set screw out. That one right there. Not the one that goes to the key. The one that's already to the keyway to the middle. To the part that goes over the shaft. Don't lose your uh, set screw, silly. Okay.
loosen this one up a little bit more. Should be able to get this key in out to be able to push it right here. There's a little slot in there. You can push the keyway out so you can grab it. Remember which way it goes in. And I like to set it down the way that I took it out. Just like this. Now we're gonna tighten this up. A few turns, see where we're at. Put our belt on. You wanna be more towards the top. So get another half turn. You don't want it riding low in there. Right there is pretty good. I'm we'll probably go another half turn. So it'll sit good in that motor like that. So now you're gonna take your keyway, line up your your piece right there. Take your set, you can see where the mark is. Put that mark back in. Push it all the way in, kind of tap it, give it a little wiggle. Just a couple taps. Take your set screw, put your set screw back on. Tighten this bad boy down really, really tight. I'm gonna try to take it. No, it doesn't fit in this one. Sometimes these fit. This is a special sheave for this motor though. So I'll just go one more time. Okay. Now that we're nice and tight, take it. Get it put on here. They didn't give me a new keyway, so I have to use the old keyway. I have like a weird set screw that came out of somewhere and I don't see where it was, but I'm gonna tighten up all these set screws. I don't trust this shit. Yeah, fucking things loose. I'm gonna wipe off the old keyway so it's nice and clean. It's got some goop on there. What the fuck that is? It's like some oil or something. Thing on. Yeah, that was 
Все. I don't know where these weird set screws came from. It's, looks like it's a plug, but I don't see where it goes. Alright, so for an example on why you take your time with these. Alright, so let's try this again. Line it up. it until the keyway hits. Ah, I did it again. Oh, silly. Let me just feel my wrench so I can tap it. And we'll check that and make sure that it's nice and even um, once we get the motor realigned. And if worse comes to worse, I can always adjust it when I have the motor back down and bolted. But so now you're going to tighten this one. That's got to lock it to the to the shaft. Okay. So let's get our allen key. And now set the phone here. So this one's really freaking tight. You can see how much torque I'm putting on it. I'm almost breaking it. So, all right, now I'm gonna put the motor back together. Let's see if we can set the phone up. And they have two split systems that I think they need to be topped off. We installed them in winter. So I probably gotta go up there and add a little charge to them. No biggie. Another weird freaking screw. That is so strange. I think I'm gonna actually go take a look at this other blower motor. Just so I can get a comparison too. So give me a minute. So I did have that on backwards. Um, I flipped it around. Everything's nice and tight. Set screws. So little things you just gotta pay attention to. Alright, let me set this back. This thing is so fucking heavy, dude. Let me step down. Okay. Line it back up on your marks. That's why you always mark it. This way you can line it up exact. are lined up except for this one it's gonna go just a smidge that one looks good looks good looks good all right so i'm gonna get all these bolts put in i'm not gonna bore you i'm gonna get these bolts put in get the belt put back on and uh we'll see where we're at well how's it going perfect just excuse my cigarette but not too bad just Filming it. Cool. I like filming my shit. But yeah, I got the new sheave on there. It's all good. Just getting the belt all tensioned up, and then uh, we'll fire her up. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, that one fired up for like two minutes, so I'm guessing that it, it probably, you have a couple on cooling, right? Yeah, it wasn't cold enough for it to come on. It just came on for like 20 seconds. Yeah, it was, it was weird. That one just did it too. Yeah, I was sitting there, I'm like, uh, okay. I think it does it because they don't come on. Like, they don't ever come on. Really? Because it's there's, there's 785, and they don't have the lights on. So. Yeah. Yeah, 100 tons. Oh, for sure. Cool? All right, yeah, we have those other ones on because you're checking those too. Yeah. Yeah, you know what happened with those? Most likely because we charge them up in the winter. They don't have the right charge in them. Oh. You got to fine tune them. Okay. 
So yeah. I'll just throw some more gas. I got Tim though too. Okay. Um, so I'll throw my ladder up. We'll get those all gassed up. If if that's the only thing, but in my mind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So I mean, they're working right now. It's we got them set at seventy, and it's seventy in there because you're here. If you hadn't been here, it wouldn't be working. <laughs> that's right. We'll we'll get the charge right. I'll dial <laughs> cool. it in for you. Cool, Alex. Right, we'll see you, a little bit. you got it, brother. All right, so I just like to tighten two of these, one and two. So my belt, my marks didn't line up with this belt anymore. Weird. Um, it is what it is. So put your belt on. Let me set my phone up here. Put your belt put on, make sure the tension is good. Looks like we're gonna be too tight right there, so we're gonna loosen these up. Loosen up. sure that your alignment looks good you're not cockeyed you look good you can always take a level on there so I tighten just these two and I'll tighten this third one Move it back just for a sec okay that works I'll get that bad boy right there belt's too tight, so we're going to loosen these up a little bit. You see it's pulling the motor up. Yeah, that's too loose. So. What I'm going to do is... Take the belt off. Got my mark. That's where it should be. Right. Right there. Make sure it's nice and even. Make sure you're nice and aligned. Test your belt. There we go. Go just a hair in. Just a hair. tension on there it's not pulling our motor or anything so that's good tighten these bolts back Whoop. so they're nice and tight it's not gonna go anywhere especially the back ones Yeah, nice tight. So, here's the belt. That's done. So, nice up in the line. It's almost to the top. So we'll get some good airflow out of it. I'm gonna go kick this bad boy on, tighten these back up, and uh, we'll be good to go. We'll uh, kick her on and see what she does. I'm gonna get my vacuum. I'm gonna vacuum everything out, and then I'm gonna get on the roof. Uh, there's a couple split systems that we put in in the winter that we got to get some charge in there, dial them in. So some 410. Then I got to go install uh, this evaporator coil with that that 
cracked drain pan I had the other day uh, from last week. So I think I'm just gonna swap the coil and the pan and leave the the casing. The casing should be should be like for like. Um, it looks like it is. So we'll see what happens there. But this one's on and running. Get this panel put back on, and then I'll head to the roof, and we'll get those systems charged up. All right, so got everything vacuumed out, got all that dust out of there. Pretty clean. Just gonna get my rag so I can wipe this bad boy out wherever I put my rag. Somewhere. Somewhere. There it is. So wipe this bad boy out. And I gotta get on the roof. Check out those two splits. Get them all charged up. Just gotta wipe everything down as much as I can. I stirred some up, but Let's try to get as much as we can off of here. Let nothing going in the grow house, you know. Okay, so that's that one. Let me get my ladder set up, get on the roof, and then we'll get these ones charged up. So, little job that we did. Mini split. We got these. Pretty, came out pretty nice. Got a leak lock on everything. Two out of the three are running. This one has the contactor pulled in. Um, we'll see what's going on. It's probably just a bad splice somewhere. It sounded like a loose connection, actually. So we know that downstairs is sending signal, but we gotta figure out what's going on with that one. This one. So it doesn't look like they need to be charged. I'm at 13 superheat. It's pretty good. Evaporator, 37. So, I already swept them. So, all right, let me go grab my, my meter so I can figure out what's going on with that one. We'll see what's up. All right, get back here in a sec. All right, this one's running good too. So I had the charge nice from the factory. And I added a little bit, so that's good. I'm gonna go get my tools, see what's going on with these, because uh, we put a whole bunch of Accessories, it has every accessory, pressure transducer, phase monitor, uh, <laughs> CLO board, and I got what well, looks like a lockout on this, so I gotta figure out what the fuck's going on here. See what's going on here. These should all be wired the same, I wired them all, so they're all the same, and I'm, I'm pretty confident with my wiring. It's all clipped. It's not going to be our high voltage. It's going to be something with the control. So, let me go grab my meter, and then I'll get to seeing what's up. It's got a flashing light here, and then I got an alternating light right there. So, I got to Google these PDFs. I don't have that anymore on me. So, all right, get back in a few. Nice day out. So, I got two out of three running really good. Get some tape for that. All right, we'll grab my meter. I'll be right back. Man, and down we go. All right, so I did find a bad fuse. I replaced it. It's still nothing. Uh, I don't have voltage. I only got like 30 volts. So I'm gonna go downstairs, check the breaker, and I'll be right back. All right, didn't have to put any charge in, that's good. Pressures were good, um, just had a bad fuse. Why it popped, I don't know. Now it was a little loose on the pinches, so I pinched those in a little more, but. Uh, now we're gonna go install that evaporator coil, so I'll put this video up and I'll put the next one up uh, separate. So, you guys rock and roll, have a good day, and uh, we'll see you on this coil change out. All right, later.